with Daddy, Ken, but you know how he is about checks. He insisted on cash, and now it's too late to put it in the bank. Don't worry none about that, honey. As soon as he closes his deal, we'll take the money over and put it in my brother's safe at the store. He's still over there. You know, I've been thinking... I've been thinking about quitting this sheriff business. Getting a little ranch and some stock and settling down to a quiet, peaceful life for a change. Oh, Ken, I'm so glad. You don't know how I worry about you in this job. But if you ever take that star off, why, I don't know how I'm ever going to tell you from that twin brother of yours. <laughs> Clem is a dead ringer for me, all right. See, you know, I was thinking of buying that old Rosebud place down the Singing Creek. It's got a cute little ranch house sitting there nestling in that purple sage. There's only one thing it needs to make it a perfect paradise. I guess you know what that is. Mary, for a long time I've been wanting to ask you something. I've been wanting to ask you for a long time about... Excuse me for a minute. Hello. Oh, hello, Mr. Turner. Well, yeah, I was sort of engaged right for the minute. Sure, I'll come right over. Mary, your father's closed the deal. Wants me to come out right over to the hotel. Kind of a bodyguard, I guess. All right, I'll run along home. Oh, maybe when you're through, you might have time to come over. Sure, I will. I want to finish telling you about the ranch. All right, I'll be expecting you. I'll play that favorite song of yours, Buffalo Gal. Gee, that's fine. <laughs> you know I'm crazy about that song. Well, Clem, still hard at it, huh? <laughs> Clem, Mr. Turner's got a lot of money and wants to put in that strong box of yours overnight. Why, I guess so. Do you think it's all right? I mean, do you think it's safe? Safe? Well, listen, if it's not safe in that contraption, I don't and know... With your own brother as sheriff, 
It won't be safe nowhere. That's right. I guess we can put it in here, Mr. Turner. Yes, I guess it's good enough. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> you counted that now, huh? Oh, all counted for, sir. All right, there it is. Anything else you want to put in here, Clem? No, I guess not. I'll shut it up then. That ought to hold it. <laughs> Clem, why don't you put them books away and come on home? No use working yourself to a frazzle. I got a lot more work to do. Plenty more here. Uh, I'll see you later. All right. Have it your way. <laughs> hey, if you was only a drinking man, Ken, I'd say it was my turn to stand treat. <laughs> but as it is, all I can do is to thank you for your kindness. You see, when them cattlemen came along and handed me all the money, Bank was closed, and I didn't just know what to do with it. Well, Clem, I want to take care of this case. Well, how about that combination? Suppose I do give it to you. How do I know I'll get my share? Hey. You mean to insinuate that I ain't aiming to play honest with you? Oh, no, no, not, not that, but... Now, listen. Uh, we'll grab the money and beat it to my hideout. When the rumpus is all over, you get yourself a horse and come down to Engine Head Rock. There'll be a man waiting there to bring you to me. Come on, write him down. I don't think Clem's gonna fall for the boss's plan. No, you never can tell. It's worth taking a chance anyhow. Now, to get rid of that brother of yours. We don't want the law in on this. No, no. Not that. Don't get nervous. I'm just aiming to send him on a wild goose chase. What's his ring? One long and two short. Hello. Hello. Hello, Sheriff. Say, this is Lice Beasley talking. Rustlers. They're running off my herd. Yeah. Come quick, will you? All right, Lodge. That must be the same bunch that's been working around there. I'll keep your shirt on. I'll get a hold of the boys and we'll come right out. All right, fine. Well, I got away with that all right. Take it easy a minute. Go out and see if everything's all right. Come on, Boots, let's get going. Russell, we're working on the Flying A Ranch. As long as someone comes up to spoil my ear. I'll see you later, honey. Come on, Come on. wait around here for the horse. Hey, hey! Come on, let's go, boys, all of us. Okay, let's go. Maverick Paul for your line? <laughs> like a ninja for a string of beads. Come on, let's get the job over with. Now listen, Clem. Just to make this thing look on the level, we're going to have to take you in the back room and tie you up.
What's the matter, Lies? Rustlers cleared out? Rustlers? What the tarnation you talking about? I don't know nothing about any rustlers. Why, you just phoned me and Rustlers running off your stock and they get out of here pronto. What's the matter with you? Phone you? Why, you were cracked. My phone's been out of order all day. And if that blasted phone is working, I wouldn't be in the sweat that I am now. My wife is having a baby. And I am out to round up old Doc Hardy. Put them ponies. Get out of here. Just another wild goose chase, huh? Yep. Looks like it. Hey, boys, we've been tricked. Let's get back to town. There's something wrong somewhere. Come on. Now take him back there and tip him over. Sticking around here any longer, we might as well buy a moose. Trouble holding that floor and we'll get out on our knees.
Then Ben has got some away. It appears to me, Sheriff, that this job is going to take a heap of explaining. What do you mean, Mr. Turner? Looks to me like an inside job. How did those bandits get the combination of this thing? That's what I'd like to know. Well, maybe you can explain that for a starter. It looks a heap like your brother's handwriting to me. Clem, old man. Yeah, I'm all right. Did they, they get away? Did they get away? Did they? I had to tell them the combination. They made me do it. I didn't want to do it. They threatened to torch me if I didn't. You say you told them the combination? Well, yes. I... I... They... Yes, I... They brought me in here and tied me up. They threatened to kill me if I didn't. Yes. That was a close call, all right. Why, you'd have burned up if we hadn't got here just when we did. Seems to me, Ken, that you take the loss of my 30,000 pretty cool like. Why, Mr. Turner... What are you gonna do, stick around here all night and wait till those banners get clean away? I'll catch them, all right. I promise you that. Why don't you do something? Why don't you light out after them? Listen, Mr. Turner, you couldn't pick up their trail in the dark like it is now. I figure on going after them first thing in the morning. I'll bring them back. Them and your money. Well, I hate to say that... Come on, Boots. Let's me and you'll get a drink. All right. Just a minute, Clem. I want to talk to you. Not now. Ken, please. I, I, I'm, all, I'm all in. Not now. All right. I want to see you in the morning. Maybe you don't care nothing about your money, but law and order has got to be important. 
Well, I'm inclined to agree with you, Boots, in most instances. But Ken has given us his word. He'll get them outlaws. You know what that's always meant to us in the past? Yeah, I know. But his own flesh and blood has never been suspicious in any of them other jobs. He didn't hold Clem, did he? Not on your life. If it had been anybody else, they'd have been slammed in the who's go. Hours ago. Well, you may be right, but I still got faith in Ken. Well, what do you figure we ought to do? Make a night of it. If we come on, he don't go after him, we take matters in our own hands. Well, I don't want to tell you boys what to do. But if I were sheriff... But you ain't, Boots. I am. Listen, I told you boys I'd take out after that gang as soon as it was light enough to cut the trail. What's wrong with that? Not a thing, Ken. That's what i just been telling the boys. Ain't I, fellas? Sure. Well, Mr. Turner? Just a minute. It ain't the plan we're leery of. It's you. Them sounds like fighting words, Boots. What are you aiming at? You know mighty well what I mean. Maybe I do. Suppose you tell it to me. Well, I... That is... We ain't so sure that you'll want to catch this gang. Being as to how that precious brother of yours seems to be in on the deal. But well, regardless of your suspicions, I'll handle this case as I see fit. Any other case, as long as I'm sure. I ain't so sure that the boys want you for sure. They reckon that's how they want a new deal. How about it, fellas? I reckon you're right. And I hereby nominate Boots for the office of sheriff. I second that nomination. Now, that's more like it. About time we had a drink in, Sheriff. Listen, boys. I'd be willing to give up this badge of mine in a legal manner any time this community asks for it. But not to lie around this gang up. Well, we ain't no mood to waste. Here, hand it over. Suit yourself, huh? From now on, I'm sheriff, and you're my first prisoner. Have you got any place where I can put this hombre for safekeeping? Sure, just the spot, my storeroom. Bring him along. Well, He's back Now wait, boys, don't do anything. Now right. listen, Turner, you keep out of this. I'm sheriff now. Right Come on, on, bring him along. Come, Come on, on, bring him along. along. Good job. I'm not going to take any chances on this trick lockup. Come in. Evening, Mary. Why, Clem? Are we alone? Why, yes, why? Listen, Mary, I want you to go away with me. Now, tonight, will you? Go away with you? Why, Clem? Listen, I'm leaving this hick town. I made a lot of money, a big deal. I'm lighting out. We could be mighty happy together, Mary. Why, Clem, I don't understand. Is this a joke or... Have you lost your mind? I'm expecting Ken any minute. Oh. Yeah. Ken. But I shouldn't be wasting time like this. Uh, Ken sent me for you. He's hurt. He's, he's bad hurt, that's it. Ken's hurt? Why? He's yeah. not... No, he, he's still alive, but uh, you've got to come along. He keeps calling for you, calling for you all the time. He's calling for you. Are you sure Ken's really hurt? Yeah, look. 
That ought to prove it. You never heard of Ken letting anybody ride Tarzan before, did you? I'm sorry, Clem. I didn't mean to doubt your word. Well, that's that's all right, Mary. Uh, we got to hustle, though. You, you can come along just the way you are. Come on. I guess that'll hold you for a while. Comes out of our storeroom. Well, that was nice work, boys. I guess the drinks are all on me. All right, sir. Oh, <laughs> Have a good time. <laughs> I don't reckon he caused us any more trouble. Say, you take charge of his gun until I figure out what I want to do with it. They'll be on top of the cash register, the boots. Anytime you want them. <laughs> You're going to be a regular sheriff. You know that? <laughs> we can all turn respectable. <laughs> yeah. How deep you figuring on cutting in that crooked storekeeper? Say, you ain't heard nobody call me Santa Claus yet, have you? I ain't worrying none about him till he gets here. If he ever does. But what about that low enforcing brother of his? He's a regular bloodhound. And he'd have toting them two guns for nothing. Yeah, you're right. Well, I figure that fire will keep him busy all night. But it won't be no harm to be careful. Hey, Smokey, you better mosey down and help Pete guard the pass. Yeah, I reckon I better. He's none too wide awake, no. Well, I suppose you want your cut. Look who's coming. Well, well, if it ain't the old storekeeper herself. Say, you sure made good time. Who are these men? Oh, They what? look awful hard. They, they're, they're, they're friends of mine. Their boss is taking care of Ken. Well, are you ready to go? The boss is expecting you. All right. Open up, Spike. Clem, are you sure it's all right? Well, of course it is. I wouldn't bring you here unless it was. Well, come on. Stay here just a minute, Mary. I want to talk to Rawhide. So we got you to run away with him, huh? Running away with him? Why, he brought me here to see Ken. Is he still alive? <laughs> so you couldn't even play square with a girl you love. What business is that of yours? Just give me my share and we'll get out of here. And go back and tell that brother of yours where our hideout is? Not on your life. You'll stay right here till I get ready to let you go. Both you and the gal as well. Oh, you're going back on your word then. You're not going to give me my share. I never go back on my word. Here. 
There's your divvy. Why? Well, you, you mean that's all I get? Only five hundred dollars? After I helped you get away with thirty thousand? And you tried to burn me up? Besides, with your dirty... You'd... Bark down! You'll take that or nothing. Well, I'll take nothing then. I'll go back to town. I'll turn the whole town loose on you. That's what I'll do. Come on, Mary. Oh, you won't. You'll stay right here till I get good and ready to let you go. Hey. I've got something to show you that might interest you. Well, Come on. Come here. That's dynamite. Gunpowder. You see that guard? Well, if any unwelcome visitors get in that pass, all he has to do is to light a time fuse. Think that over. Don't you touch me, you thief. Don't you worry none, Mom. I'll see these don't bother you. You take your hands off of her. Take your hands off of her. Sure. Right now. Take care of you. Sit down, miss. Let's have a little drink. No, thank you. I... Uh, uh, not now. <laughs> well, you don't mind if I have one, do you? Oh, yes. No, that is... <laughs> All right, here, partner. All right. Don't be bashful. Might as well be comfortable. And if I was you, mister, I'd let well enough be. Exactly like the idea of that gal being here. That's bad luck. I wouldn't say it was bad luck for everybody. <laughs> Girls, yeah. I want you to pay more attention to your dances in the future. And not so much attention to the men in the audience. Do you understand? Say. Your numbers are so old, I've got hardening in the arteries, just trying to do them. Why don't you try something new for a change? Them numbers are old. Hey, what about that bird cage thing? Why, every dame in the audience can do the steps better than we can, and every half stewed guy out there can sing the words better than Charlie. Why, I want you to know that I sing those words perfectly, and the fact that everyone knows them is a tribute to my art. Your art? My eye. <laughs> Come on, dear, let's go. Hussies. Charlie, help, help. I, I, I still tied up, Sheriff? Of course I am. This rope's choking me to death. Hurry, quick, will you? Quiet, Charlie. If you make a sound, I'll break you in two. Uh, I won't make a noise. See that you don't.
Hey, you galoot. Get out there and see what's going on. That's a good one on me. Sure thought that racket spelled trouble. It did. We gotta build some new bars for them doors. Well, send somebody down there to fix them right away. howling for you. and she thought so much of it. right away, will you? I'm losing a lot of money. Come on, now, hurry up. Come on, what's the matter with you, George? You make me sick. Charlie's drunk again. <laughs> <laughs> so 
the ballroom was filled with fashion strong, and it shone with a thousand lights. And there was a woman who passed along, the fairest of all the sights. A girl to her lover in softly cried, she's riches at her. But she married for wealth, not for love, he cried. Though she lives in a mansion grand, she's only a bird in a gilded cage, a beautiful sight to see. You think he is happy and free from care? He's not so happy. Bird in a gilded cage. Oh, she only a bird in the gilded cage. Beautiful sight to see. May think she's happy, free. She's not though she seems to be. It's sad when you think of wasted life, for you cannot be. I'm sending you over to my own quarters. You look all in. Some sleep will do you good. I'm not a bit tired. I'd much rather stay here. Don't be foolish. You can go over there and lock yourself in. You'll be perfectly safe. And after she locks herself in, I want you to stand guard outside. 
And don't let anybody in. Savvy? Sure, you can depend on me. But I don't want to go. But you gotta. These men need some sleep. They can't turn in while you're here. Besides, it'll soon be daylight. Come on, miss. Rawhide's on the level. You've got nothing to fear. Just a minute, sir. I just thought I'd come in and see if you was comfortable. Oh, what you scared of? You was willing to run away with that sneaking storekeeper, wasn't you? Well, I ain't no worse than he is. Come on. Sit down. Have a little drink. Get out of here. Trouble, boy. I know something's the matter. What is it? Where's the trouble, huh? Show me. What is it? Oh, wait a minute. You know I never intended to run away with Clem. Please let me go back to the other cabin. It's too late now. No, you don't. Wait, old boy. I see it. Get out of here. Go out and hide. Wait for me. Go ahead. Go on. <laughs> Could I have that little drink you offered me? Why, sure. Now you're talking sense. Something like it. Here's how. Why don't you bring the bottle over? 
Say, that ain't a bad idea. How about a little kiss, baby?
There's that Palomino. Look out, I'm going to take a shot at him. Go on, Ed. Drop that gun. Drop it. Get your horses, man. We'll go after them. Clam? Clam? Come on, old man, we gotta make a getaway. Tarzan's carrying double now. He, he can't carry three of us. Ah! Take Marion, get out, quick. All right, you keep undercover. I'll get back as quick as I can get help. What's happened? A man has found his honor. Clem did that. Sacrificed himself to save us. Here you are, Mr. Turner. Hi, Ken. I don't know why I'm ever going to thank you for... Hey, one of you boys let Mary have your horse. Wait a minute, Mr. Turner. That won't be necessary. Me and Mary are figuring on traveling, devil, from now on. <laughs> 